Today we'll be covering a short list of unique items that you'll want to hold on to for leveling alts, as well as a few tips for creating some great leveling gear to supplement these unique items. Some of these items may last pretty far into the story, or even the monolith of fate, while others can be replaced more easily. Everything on my list is a common drop that can be equipped under level 20. Helmets. If you're a spellcaster using a fire spell, Calamity is a good option for its offensive stats. Just be mindful of that self-damage on kill. Otherwise, wear what you can find because we really don't have any other options. Body Armor. If you're dealing elemental damage, Prism Wraps is amazing for the damage of Leech, as well as its elemental damage reduction. Additionally, I'm a big fan of the Falcon at level 1 for the increased movement speed, but it won't be hard to find an upgrade in the ground pretty quickly. Gloves. Avarice is great for its Leech for dealing elemental damage, and even if you aren't, the elemental resistance alone is pretty hard to beat. If you're using a melee build, fighting chances offensive stats are worth a bit of increased damage taken, and it has movement speed. Belts. My personal favorite is the Scavenger for its haste on potion use. I find myself using potions a lot more frequently in early game situations where the haste can kind of help get me out of trouble. Viper Tail is a solid melee build option that synergizes well with fighting chance by offsetting that damage with a pretty high chance to slow on hit. Boots. Lessons of the Metropolis gives you access to a decent amount of movement speed early on, along with some extra defensiveness from the dodge A fixes. If you're not scaling dexterity or aren't afraid of a little extra damage, Morning Frost give quite a bit more movement speed once you hit level 8. Rings! Slap on an Arboreal Circuit or two when you reach the stash at the beginning of the story. These are great rings for movement speed, and the Illusiori Tree is an excellent defensive utility for overwhelming packs and bosses early on. If you're running melee or bows, switch one over to Quicksilver Coil at level 12, which gives you some attack speed and utility via haste until you can replace the ring. Amulets. If you're not a caster, Bleeding Heart is an amazing option for its increased attack speed and leech. No other good options here, unfortunately. Weapons. Weapons are tricky since they're usually build dependent and we don't have a ton of early options available. I really like Humming Bee for early melee builds for its movement speed and DPS help, with Taste of Blood being appealing for physical melee builds a bit later in levels. Hammer of Lawrence your best bet for an early two-hander with its damage and chill on hit chance, but you should replace it with Dream Thorn as soon as you hit level 15. If you're using a bow build, Hell Reach is probably worth leveling with a fire skill due to how strong that fire penetration is. Offhand. Same deal as weapons here. Somewhat build dependent, and we just don't have many low level options available to us right now. For shields, I like the slab more than close call due to its 100% less damage taken on block. 100% less is zero. For bow builds, arrow guard is a great defensive option with a nice offensive implicit and is best in slot for most bow builds. All the unique relics feel too build dependent, so I'm not going to cover any here. I kept the list as generic as possible to apply to as many builds as possible. There's tons of great uniques that work for a ton of builds, but these are the ones that I've identified as kind of the best for almost any character early on. Alt gear crafting tips. I'll make this bit quick. I like to save some low level magic and rare items that have generally helpful implicits and affixes. The implicits I aim for are generally life, resistance, and movement speed, and the affixes I aim for are usually attack and cast speed, as well as spell damage, life, or resistances. By using what we've covered here today, you'll speed up the leveling process for your alts, allowing you to focus your time in crafting materials once you reach the monolith of fate around level 50 to 55. If you found this content helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments.